now on YouTube. I am the Toff Man and welcome to this. This is my new series on Minecraft. This is going to run alongside my Season 3, so don't worry, that's not going anywhere. Um, basically, I was wandering around YouTube, as I find myself often doing, looking at uh, related videos kind of uh, deal going on, and I came across a user called Astocky. Now, he did a, a, a little bit of a let's play on what I'm going to do a let's play on. And basically, this is a mod pack. I believe it's called Herocraft Mod Pack. And um, it's relatively new. It was released maybe a couple of days ago. It's the 30th now, and I think it was released on the 28th. So it's only a couple of days old. And I'm just going to do a quick run-through. Oh, well, it's not so quick. But it's a, a run-through of the different mods that are in this mod pack. Now, this is a very, very difficult and time consuming mod uh, mod pack to to install so maybe I don't know if the guy's going to do like a, a tutorial maybe on his channel on how to install this mod pack but it is quite difficult but as long as you know what you're doing um, it is quite time consuming though but anyway without further ado let's get on with the uh, the mods we've got mine and blade mod one that I've never actually tried before um, I've got no idea about this I have no I've never even heard of it We've got Ray's Minimap, I know about that. We've got the 4096 block ID fix, which makes this mod pack possible, otherwise with all these mods it would never happen. Uh, we've got Advanced Machines. Now you'll be used to the Advanced Machines mod that I was using in Season 3. Well, this Advanced, machine, uh, advanced Machines is slightly different to the one that I use. I believe there's different interfaces, and I also believe you know that this is a different type of advanced machines mod. They've got the same advanced machines like the uh, singularity compressor and the rotary macerator it's just that they work slightly different. That's what I'm led to believe. I think it's a different one. We've got ancient forged items. I have no idea. I've never even heard of that one either so it'd be interesting that. We've got better dungeons. Everybody knows about that from my Minecraft Season 3. We've got Buildcraft 3.x which is um, what I'm very used to. We've got Buildcraft Additional Pipes, which of course I already know. We've got Custom Stuff, I have no idea what that is. We've got Doggy Talents, I know what it is, but I've never used it before. We've got Equivalent Exchange 2, which we know what that is. We've got the Familiars mod, I've never heard of that either. We've got Forestry. We've got the Herobrine mod Familiar Pack, which is part of the uh, Familiar mod pack that I just told you about. Never heard of that either. We've got the Industrial Craft 2. And we've also got in Industrial Craft 2 Nuclear Control, which I never actually realised existed. We've got Inventory Tweaks, which I already know about. Logistics Pipes, which you guys should be familiar with by now. The uh, middle, middle Age mod, I've never heard of that either, I've never used it. Mine Colony, I've heard of, but I've never actually used that one either. Uh, Charging Bench, another one that I've never heard of. Compact Solars, which I'm well aware of. The Iron Chests mod, which I know very well. Uh, the Sup Superior Enchantment System, which I've never heard of. More Furnaces, I'm aware of that mod, but I've never used it before. Multipage Chest, I never realised existed. <laughs> um, not Enough Items, which we all know about. Optifine. Um, power Converters, which I believe converts Buildcraft Power into Industrial Craft Power, and vice versa. So that should be useful. I've heard of it, but I've never used it. Railcraft, Red Power 2, a Rope Plus mod, never heard of that either. Slime Boots Plus, I really don't know about that. Sneaky Pipes, I know about that one. Steve's Carts, yes, I know about that. Thorncraft 2, Tree Capitator, Wireless Redstone Chicken Bones Edition, and Z's Farming mod, which I'm very you know, looking forward to actually getting into that. So now that I've bored you enough for about 20 minutes on telling you exactly what the mods are in this pack, uh, I'm going to go and create a new world. Okay, well here I am on the Create New World screen, and what are we going to call this world? I'm not quite sure. Let's just go for a very original Softman's Let's Play World. Yeah, I think that should do. Survival, obviously. Um, the Seed, I don't know, what should we go for? Um, Hero Craft let's play with an exclamation mark just for
for good measure there. We want to keep that on, we want to keep that as default. And yeah, everything's there, everything's ready, so let's create the new world. Now this is going to take a little longer than usual because there is quite a lot of mods involved in this that have all got to uh, jostle for position and get ready. So here we are, saving chunks, that means it's about time that this world is going to load up. So let's see if we've got a decent world on our on our plates. And immediately I can see a difference in the bottom there. A lot of difference actually. I've got two extra slots on the side. Can I get to them? No. I've still got the usual slots, it's just that I can't get to that. I seem to have spawned on the edge of an island while everything loads up. Hmm. I'm just going to cut the recording a second and uh, make sure everything loads up properly before I start wandering around. Okay, so I've let it load up a little bit. You'll notice that I am on recipe mode. This is the basic setting as soon as you get onto the world. You are on recipe mode on NEI. I'm going to be leaving it on recipe mode. I'm not going to be doing anything else. And just to scroll through the pages here, you can see all these new items that I've never heard. These banners here. Um, I don't know what the use of these are. Um, I believe, and I'm not quite sure, whether or not it actually generates all three different types of ores from red power, industrial craft and forestry. But as soon as they go through a macerator, they all end up the same type of ores anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that. Um, block of steel, block of concrete, never heard of these before. Um, now the good way of knowing if I have actually got the advanced machines mod the other type of advanced machines is to have a look at um, the water mills. Yes, I've got the other type of advanced machines. Now, I didn't actually have this in my version of the advanced machines. I had, you know, I had the rotary macerator and all that kind of business, but I never had this water strainer, which is an advanced uh, type of water mill. Crafted with a water mill, a tank, and an iron waterproof pipe. But I'm not going to go into that in a minute because I'm actually running low on time now. I haven't moved at all. I don't know where to go. I think the best thing to do, would you believe, is to punch a tree. Yes, I think that's the best course of action to start off this Minecraft Let's Play. It may surprise some people that, but I think it's the best thing to do. I'm also going to create a crafting table to uh, craft myself some items. I think that's a good idea. I think it's also a good idea to get some sticks and I need one more bit of wood so I can make myself an axe so I can make short work of these trees. Remember the tree capitator mod is uh, part of this mod pack so that's very very useful indeed. So let's get ourselves an axe on the go. There we are. Lovely stuff. Now let's cut down this tree here. Lovely. Oh my god! Well my tree capita a mod that I had on for my let's play never did that. Um I was always left with the leaves. Oh wow. It automatically destroys the leaves and uh, gives you the saplings for your troubles. Well that is very useful. Oh and apples as well. Nice. Nice. I've got some I've got a good start here going, fellas. And girls, if there is any out there. Well there is out there obviously, but uh, if you're watching this Oh, let's get these mushrooms just for good measure here. I'm looking on my map, and I think the best place to go is up there, maybe. I'm, uh, the first thing I want to actually look for is... Uh, whoa, holy crap. That is a ton of stuff to be dumping on top of my head straight away. Yeah, I want to uh, kind of move out of this snow biome and move over here, because it looks as if I'm maybe having some luck for possibly... Um, Oh, Better Dungeons is uh, loading something up. There's a bit of a bit of jerkiness going on here, fellas. It's it is it is Better Dungeons because it did it did that with me uh, on my season three let's play. So I've just got to let this uh, load up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, yeah, it's definitely the Better Dungeons mod because my mouse just spazzed out proper bad there. Right, there's a, a lovely little thorncraft tree in the background there. The uh, silver wood, which is very nice. Oh, look at all these pigs. Mm. Let's get this down and get, uh, I think, the best course of action here is to get a sword on the go. 
and uh, slap these pigs' asses with a good old wooden stick. Come on, give me your give me your meat, so to speak. Well, let's pick up that because we don't want to leave that behind as we go on our little travels into the woods. It looks like. I was hoping that maybe there was a swamp over here. It doesn't look like that's the case. I thought it might be. Um, ah, so what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I think I'm going to stay around here just for the minute. I think that's a very good idea. We've got pigs. Uh, I could do... Oh, I've just spotted in the background just if... I think it's control, is it? No, what's zoom nowadays? Z. Z is zoom. There. That is a, uh, a forestry um, beehive there. Hey, if you stare at me any longer, I will kill you. Simple as. So let's clear some ground out of the way here and uh, get a very crude house going. Some Billcraft oil there, very nice, very nice indeed. We've got pigs here in case we want to uh, to breed them. I could do with some sheep just so I could sleep through the the night, but never mind. I'm sure we can deal without them. Right, let's get a little bit of a crude house going here, just to start things off. As always, um, oh, this is this this is not good. I've done it in a very even house. I don't like doing even houses. You'll notice as well if I go into my options here, I am on normal difficulty. I uh, toyed with the idea of putting it on hard, but seriously, I didn't really want to go on hard. No reason really, I just don't like it. So, yeah. Okay, let's uh, put a roof on this baby. And this will do us for our first little, uh, our first little night. As I go and explore the world a little bit and see what's new around here. See if there's anything different going on. Oh. And let's put a little uh, little roof on our on our house. This is uh, Toffman's shed. I'm going to name this. Oh, have I just fell off? Yes, I have. Let's uh, finish off this roof from the inside here. And that's a good idea. Oh, come on, pig! Now you're uh, you're getting slightly in the way, fella. Right, let's craft a table there. Pop that in the corner, and uh, mm. well, I could swear that I was gonna get some sort of. Uh, I think this this left and right little bit on the end of my uh, hot bar here is something to do with the sword and shield kind of business, but I don't know exactly how to uh, put it on my person. Um, oh, oh, I don't think I should have done that, but never mind. Yes, let's create ourselves the basic stone uh, stone tools. I'm not that quite far ahead just yet. The basic wooden tools, should I say, for the job. Uh, a, sp a, s a shovel, spade, depends where you are in the world, or what you want to call it. Uh, I think I want a sword as well. And, oh my god, I've got a sword, what am I doing? And uh, I want a hoe. And I don't mean one of them, I want an actual farming utensil. Got plenty of saplings, we're not going to run out of wood any time soon. We're not going to run out of food either, look at this amount of apples that I've got there. Now I'm not quite sure how to actually get this sword on your... Oh, oh, no. I've, I've, I'm on the sides there by pressing N. But I don't know how to actually get my sword over there. Nope, I have no idea. I was sure that was going to be something here, maybe. But it appears not. Never mind. I'm sure I will find out if I go and uh, do a little bit of research. But anyway, let's go and uh, stop boring you and go and find some stone. I'll be back in just a second. Come to think of it, I think it's a good idea not to have my little mine shaft right next to my crude looking house, uh, Toffman's shed, that is. Um, this looks promising in the background here. Let me just take a wonder over here. I hope that it's going to load up okay. 
and everything is fine on the uh, on the uh, picture front for you guys, so you can see properly without no jerkiness. Like I said, I am working towards getting a new computer, so that this will all be uh, Enderman during the day. Never. Should we take him on? I am very surprised to see what the hell is them. What the hell is them? Uh oh. Okay, so that was quick. Um, right. Now that explains why an Enderman is out. Let me run back to my household very quickly. As in, double tap W, please. Yes, that's the way. Jump across this. Oh, yeah, that's it. A nice, nice cool bath before we go to sleep. Unfortunately, no sheep, so it looks like I'm going to have to wait out the night in uh, Toffman's shed with absolutely no stone whatsoever. That is not a good a good position to be in. So what I'm going to do is is just dig a a little bit of a hole for myself here so I can find some some uh, some stone. I need stone. Oh, some bit of gravel there. That's not what I'm after. That's the what that's what I'm after. And basically what I want the basic tools, I want basic stone tools, which is always a plus. And what I'm after is a furnace also. So I can uh, craft myself some, some um, what's the stuff that you burn? Charcoal, that's it. Craft, some, uh, craft myself some charcoal so I'll get some torches and I'll go for, my, for Toffman's shed to deter enemies away. We don't want them making an appearance anytime soon. So just uh, collecting myself some stone here. I should think I'm nearly finished. I want to craft myself a set. Of, a, a stet. I don't know what one of them is, but I want to craft myself a set of stone tools. So I think I've got enough now, but just to make sure, I'm going to keep on going. In fact, I want two furnaces. I think that's a good idea to start myself off. And uh, a bit surprised that I haven't come across any ores while digging this little hole out. And I hope that everything is okay and that you guys can see everything on YouTube. I've put my brightness up to full. You should be able to see most of everything that's going on. Right, let's pop out here with my trusty little sword and uh, and scream like a little girl because there are skeletons just in there. So I want to keep out of the way of them for the second. In fact, let me craft myself some doors quick. Come on, quick. Let's get some doors, some, some doorage going on here. Oh no, he's seen me. This is it, fellas. This is going to be uh, the early test. As the skeleton creeps in. Oh, is that? Come on! He thinks he's hard enough, but he's not quite. He's not quite hard enough now. Have we got enough time here to get a door on? That was the pig. Scared the li living daylights out of me. Yeah, you go in there, fella. It's fine. I will kill you from inside my house. It's perfect. Right, now we. Oh, gosh. Now we're in some sort of safety behind our doors. Let's get a cobblestone furnace going on here. Achievement. Always nice to get. And let us get some wood in there. And some uh, wooden planks in there, sorry. And some wood in there. Bit of light. Bit of light going on. That's good. But what I want is to craft myself a set of stone tools now. Stone pickaxe. Getting an upgrade. That's always good as well. We need some sticks, a stone shovel to replace the wooden one we have, a stone axe, I'm not sure that it matters, but still, I don't like walking around with wooden tools. Um, oh, we've got no more sticks, Get some more of them on the go. Oh, what am I doing? There we are, stone sword to replace our two wooden swords that we just so happened to use both of them. Um, and the short-lived her farming utensil there. Right, I think it's a good idea now to craft a little bit of a chest going on. I'm plonking that just in this. Co whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, oh, it's that. That's fine. We'll just use a bit of charcoal there to uh, carry on our charcoal production. And a bit of lighting going on around here. I don't think I want that there, really, do I? Keep everything uniform. Don't like everything that's everywhere. 
Uh, so Chaco, Raw, Pork Chops, put them doggy charms and uh, and and command emblem in there. I'm not quite sure how to use that that mod, but I'm sure I'll get there at some point. I always like to keep some cobblestone on me, so let's stick all the stuff that I don't need just in there. Where's my torches? Oh, I've used them all, haven't I? It's pretty silly of me. Okay, so I think it's a good idea actually to get some more torches on the girl. You can never have too many torches, in my opinion. Oh, can't stick apples on a stick. Unfortunately, it's not taffy. It's not toffee apple day, so we can't be doing that. Right. Oh, you've you've got to love inventory tweaks. Whoever came up with that, and I'm I'm sorry, your name escapes me. You're an absolute legend. One of my favourite mods, but my most favourite mod of all time is in this mod pack. Farmcraft 2 is very much a part of what I do on YouTube. I do a lot of uh, a lot of tutorial videos for people who haven't seen my videos before and are looking at this for the first time. Please go and check out my Farmcraft 2 um, guide to discoveries and knowledge little series that I've got going where I reveal to you guys how to get all the different pieces of knowledge and research that Thorncraft 2 has to offer and whenever there is a new update you can guarantee that there is a new update on my channel saying how to get the uh, the new bits of research which is in that update so what I'm going to do is wait out the night here guys and I will be back in the morning or when anything interesting happens Peering longingly out of my door, I can see that morning is now rising, so that's always great. And that the fact that it sounds like zombies are around and taking damage. Oh, there is there is one. Ha! Ah, lovely. Now, the first order of business is to get more wood, because I need more charcoal. Oh, gotta love that new tree capitator thing going on there. I don't know what it is. And what kind of version of tree capitate that I've got on my season three, but gotta love this one. Got to love it. Look at that, it just decimates this tree in a one fell swoop. Brilliant. Now I wonder if no, I don't think it is. I was just thinking aloud to myself there. Oh, time to eat an apple. Very nice. Plenty of, of apples, no shortage of them. Now, I was going to say, actually, I wonder if the uh, Nature Overhaul mod is on. You know, when uh, saplings drop, the saplings then plant themselves after a, a little while of floating around on the floor. But it appears that uh, it's not in the mod list, so I very much doubt it. I want to know what these bushes are here, so I'm, that's what I'm going to check out first and foremost. If there is a, um, a squid around, I want to... Oh, it looks like Better Dungeons are doing something else there. No, if there was a squid around, I could have done with one of them to uh, hopefully get my quiz item going very, very quickly. So what is this? Can I break this? It does nothing. Um, right, I, I have no idea what this is. I don't know. But I would assume that these things are going to grow something, maybe. I'm not sure what mod it's from. Maybe uh, Z's farming mod, possibly. Quite possibly, actually, just thinking about it. So this is copper, for anybody who doesn't know, who doesn't know what that is. The orange stuff is copper, and I'm not quite sure which type of copper that is. It might be red power. Oh, some more, just in the uh, hillside here. Very nice. So let's explore the landscape a little bit. It looks like we've got a bit of hill action here. Oh my goodness. That is a big sight, and you'll notice there, actually, if I press my Z key, that is a Thorncraft crystal. And that looks like an earthen crystal to me, so let's go and, and grab that from the uh, from the side of that mountain there. Oh, I thought there may be... Uh, could be pretty difficult getting up here, but I'm sure I can dig my way over there. As well as collecting cobblestone along the way, so that's, uh, that's acted as a two-for-one there, killing... Uh, Five birds with, with three stones. Yeah, look at this. Now, this is a Thorncraft crystal. These can grow up to, I think, five, actually, in one crystal cluster. As long as there's a crystal there, it will continue to uh, grow over time. If I'd have left that there, it would have grown over time, but uh, 
there is plenty of these going on underground and in the world, so I have no qualms about taking that from the hillside there. Now, anybody who's used to my videos knows that I actually do half an hour episodes. This first one is going to be a little bit longer than usual, just to uh, set myself up. Ah, sheep, you legends, get here, get here. Come on, I need your luscious wool. No, get here. Thank you, there is one. And here's another one. Unsuspecting victim here. No, come back here. No, it's no use running away. I'm still going to chase you, and I'm still going to kill you. Where's the other one gone? There he is. Trying to hide behind the hillside, but he is not having it. Get here. Hey, three bits of wool is all I need. I'm going to leave them pigs alone. Hey, teacher, leave those pigs alone. Ding, ding. Yep, I'm going to leave them well alone for the minute. In fact, there's a lot of them, so I could kill a few, but to be honest, I'm not that nasty. We've got plenty of uh, apples, plenty of fruits going on. Oh. oh, I don't know if that's better dungeons there doing something. Oh, big tree, big tree. And another apple. More food. Right, the first thing that uh, I want to actually do properly in my HeroCraft playthrough is expand upon my mine. Now, it seems as if that this is going to be my mine for the moment, for the uh, for the near future until I go out and explore the world a little bit more. But for the minute, let me just uh, get a bit of coal and uh, yeah. Bit of charcoal in there with some wood. In fact, it's probably better just to uh, swap that around there. I'll get more out of that. So let's leave that in there. Put some wood in there along with my copper and my earth and crystal. Oh, I'll make myself a bed while I'm not doing anything. So that I've got somewhere to sleep when times are hard. Bed. Bed. Yes. A bit cramped in here. Um, you could call it cosy, but I call it cramped. Let's put the charcoal in there along with the saplings. Look at the amount of saplings we've got. Got plenty of apples though to keep us going. Oh, and before I forget, I actually want to. Ah, the menu is an apostrophe key apparently. Where is this apostrophe key? I forget which one is the apostrophe. No. Right, hang on a minute. Let me. Uh, can I? Can I get to the? How do I? Come on, man. Oh, there it is. Right. Um, that was full stop, by the way. Not apostrophe. Uh, my waypoint as home, please. I don't want to lose myself if I'm out and around and about. I could swear that that was the apostrophe key and nothing's happening. No, nothing's happening. Never mind. Let's go and... Uh, ooh, a bit, a bit dark here. Let's go and dig ourselves a two-space mine. Two-block... Two blocks wide mine. Maximum coverage. And uh, I'm glad now that I made that sh that shovel earlier. It's coming very useful there for that mud. Let's continue on down into the bowels of the earth in search of redstone, because that's what I'm going to need for industrial craft, basically. And industrial craft is basically what I'm going to start with because... If you remember from my season three of my my Minecraft Let's Play, um, I want machines. I want the macerators first to double my output effectively. I think that's a very good idea. I also want the entrance to be too wide here, and I'm probably going to cover this up and make it look a little bit pretty. Not much. Cobblestone. Oh, I nearly fell in there. That would have been dangerous. Let's get it going round the back of here like this. And a bit of an entrance going onto my mine. Um, maybe give it some doors, possibly. I could do that. I shouldn't really be thinking aesthetically at the moment, but seriously, if I don't think about it now, I probably never will. So, just going to get this built. And uh, get everything ready. Oh, fell off. Oh, come on now. 
frame, lad, frame. Um, and do I want to give it a, spe a special roof? Maybe a wooden roof? This tree is getting in my way. I must chop this down immediately. There we are. R.I.P. Tree. Hey, I rhymed. Didn't even mean to either. Right, let's get some uh, aesthetically wonderful uh, looking wood going on here. And I probably want to actually create some steps here. Possibly not the best thing to think about straight away in my uh, playthrough, but never mind. This is going to look good. More so than usual, actually. Put my farming utensil back there. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this, you can even walk up the sides if you so wish. But we're okay. Right, now I've got that there, I can put my wood just along the top. I'm not entirely happy about that. Ouch! I think I broke my ankle with that fall there. I'm going to be out for a few days. I'm not happy with that at all. Let me put one of them there. I'm actually going to put it there. I think that's a lot better. Hmm. Hmm. I could make this look a lot better, but seriously, I think for the moment, that will definitely do. Just wasted loads of torches there, but never mind. Just going to open that up a little bit more. I'll come down here and place another torch on the wall there. And I'm going to mine in a two block radius, straight the way down. And if I find anything interesting, I will let you guys know, don't you worry about it. I'm back at home now, actually. It is just going to turn night time, and I've just realised that I've actually forgotten to make something that really I should make um, while I'm down there with my stone pickaxe. I don't want to keep having to create everything all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one piece of charcoal, and I've got cobblestone there, which is very nice. <clears throat> and I'm going to put one piece of charcoal in there. Ooh, what is this? Potash. What can I use this for? Fertilizer. Okay, potash and bone meal makes fertilizer. That's nice to know. But what I want to make. The first tier covalence dust. Now I can actually go one step further and actually make myself my first divining rod by getting a stick and putting the covalence dust around the stick. And that will get my, my first divining rod. Now I want to be upgrading that pretty soon because this one is pretty useless. Um, I want a piece of iron and a piece of redstone to be able to upgrade this to the second tier divining rod. And the third tier divining rod being the most powerful needs a diamond and a piece of coal. So hopefully getting the uh, second tier divining rod will help me find the diamonds that I'll need to be able to do that anyway. But this covalence dust, if I shove that stone pickaxe in there with three pieces of covalence dust I get a repaired stone pickaxe so that's very very useful and it's a shapeless thing so I can use it in my crafting bit, uh, in a little crafting bit there we have it so I'm going to take some covalence dust along with me while I'm out mining but for the moment it's night time so I'm going to sleep with my sword on the ready just in case anything goes wrong. No, we seem to be okay. We seem to be fine. Skeletons are outside. A creeper eyes me from afar. Well, I'm sorry I ain't scared of you, fella. So you'll have to do a little bit better than that. Come on. Give me some gunpowder for the trouble, please. No, but experience is more, uh, you know, enough. It's enough for me. I have to say, I do like the entrance to this mine, actually. It's growing on me slightly. Let's eat before I go down there. And uh, like I said before, guys, I'm probably going to open this up, actually, and make a little bit of a... a bit of, Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Open it up a little bit, make a bit of a, a base here on the above ground. I might make a little bit of a base for myself as well, just a little bit further down, just uh, just a little bit. So I don't have to keep coming all the way back up here. I think that this is a good idea. I'm just going to uh, open this up. And then I will go mining and hopefully find some more iron. More iron? I haven't got any iron. Uh, hopefully I'll find some iron.
Now, I, I've been playing around, I've no idea how to get this bit up where I can put my sword and um, a shield, I don't know how to actually make a shield actually, I'll have a look in a minute, um, into those two slots that are either side of there. I, I don't know how to do it, how to get it up, I don't know. I don't. I have no idea, but I'm gonna go mining now, guys, and uh, I will pop back see if anything interesting happens. Most of you will already be familiar with this R, but this here is tin. As you can see, tin. Very nice. And look at this. Just as I'm mining out some copper here, I have another set of earth and crystals here. This is a crystal cluster with two crystals on it, so. Yoink! Thank you very much. Now you'll notice there there's a red blob just floating around there. That is a fiery crystal from Farmcraft. Same as an earthen crystal, it was there, but it was uh, on the underside of this block, so when I broke the block, it just fell off. And uh, I gained a piece of fiery crystal for that. Getting a good variety of Farmcraft 2 crystals here. These are aqueous crystals. And you will notice that there is three of them there, so we hit a, a quite a big cluster. I've dug all the way down to Y level 23. Finally, I've come across my first vein of iron. So this is a new ore. I've never seen this ore before. Apparently, I can mine it with a stone pickaxe, so let's go ahead and do that just now. And we can see what we've bagged ourselves. So what is this? A diamond fragment, eh? That's interesting. What can I use these for? Making diamonds, by any chance? Yes. Three diamond fragments makes one diamond. Nine diamond fragments make a diamond ingot. Very interesting. Have I got any more kicking around? Oh, no, I've got something else, though. I don't know what this is. It's an actual R, this time. Unnamed 200. So... That's a wonderful looking R there, to be named un uh, Unknown is even better. And look at this! I seem to be hitting all these different ki types of, of R here. Nuggets of some sort of cobalt nuggets, what are these used for? Let's have a look. Used for making reinforced iron. Cobalt around an iron ingot. It's interesting, but I really want to know what this R does. Have I got any uses for this unnamed? I can smelt it into reinforced iron. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh yeah, look at this. Found a nice rich vein of, of materials here. Of minerals. Of new types of iron. Now, I, I do like new ores. I, I'm a fan of new ores. I love uh, coming across new ores that I've never seen before. I never realized that these even existed. So, to come across a nice rich vein of uh, reinforced, natural reinforced iron is uh, always good. So I'm mining away with uh, trusty Bertha, the pickaxe, the one that has not left me since I crafted her. Um, and I think this is Appetite, if I'm right. Yes, it is. Appetite, which is part of the forestry mod, I do know about this. I uh, know all about Appetite and its uses, so it's very nice to get some of that. Gold, gold, always believe in your soul. So I found some redstone. And I'm afraid Bertha is just not going to do the job there. And she didn't do the job on the gold I just found there as well. Unfortunately, it looks as if Bertha is is coming to a, at the end of her lifespan. Um, I've only got two pieces of iron, incidentally, so... I've really got to find something else, but I've got 14 diamond fragments, which, uh, if my math is right, is round about four diamonds worth. Four and a bit. I just need to find one more diamond fragment, and I've got five diamonds there. So that's not a bad loot for my first little mining session out. I just need some more iron. Now, I have noticed that if you go digging around in hills, in the hills biome, then you will probably be more likely to come across tunnels and such in the hills than if you just do it on the put in the uh, forest, if you just dig down like I have, you're probably not going to come across very much. Um, it seems as if we've got either silver or tin there, I'm not quite sure which one that is, let's just have a quick look, uh, I think it's tin, it must be tin if I can, uh... oh no it is silver, 
it is silver. I was right the uh, the first time. Tin or silver, and I was right. So there we are. Let me fill my little gap up that I've made myself. I don't like having uh, dodgy looking mine shafts. So I am going to try and dig around and see if I can find some more iron and uh, make myself an iron pickaxe and then Bertha will be no more I'm afraid. I'm not going to be recording just for too long here because it's raining and um, yeah my recording software doesn't like the rain but look what's chilling outside my house there. Squids. Yes, get here. I want your ink sacks my fellows. I need your ink sacks for the quiz item. When it comes round to uh, to building that, which is going to be sometime soon, actually, because I found gold, I just need to uh, mine that with an iron pickaxe, and uh, I shall be there. But I'm going to take a little trip into the hills, which is far over here, and uh, and just see exactly if I can find any iron just laying around in a cave, maybe a natural cave. Let me uh, try and and get over here. Hopefully, this this is going to be lag free-ish. For you guys, and you're not going to see too much in the way of that kind of business going on. I can see a little uh, cave thingy going on over there, so let's go and have a look at that. Now, incidentally, have these bushes grown at all since I've been gone? It would be nice to uh, whack one and have a find out of that. Oh no, that was uh, no. I didn't. I didn't want to place out there. I certainly don't want to grow and uh, eat anything there. No, these must be just... Um, maybe I have to pick them using a certain tool. I'm not sure. I don't know. But let's have a quick gander in this uh, this little cave thing here and see if we've got any iron. Ooh. I've got no torches, so this is possibly dangerous right now. Uh, but never mind. That's half the fun. <laughs> right. So, oh, just uh, having a get. Oh, there's a creeper saying hello there. Oh, it's not even moving. I could do with going down there, to be honest. Um, the creeper isn't bothered by me at all. Oh, now it is. Now it is. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well. Um, it did blow up relatively in my face there. So that was kind of good luck actually to come uh, come out of that unscathed some more uh, earthen crystals my troubles but no no iron this seems to be uh, a, a resource that I'm lacking in quite a lot and that's not something that I want to be lacking in quite a lot that's for sure so I'm just gonna wander around down here for the minute. I'm I need to uh, repair Bertha before she dies we don't want that to happen just yet it's probably not a good idea that I came in with all this stuff. Possibly not the uh, the greatest idea that I've ever had. Still no iron. Now this is pretty annoying, I've got to tell you. I just need the one piece to get myself the iron pickaxe, but I need two pieces so that I can get myself the quasitum on the go. The earlier I can get that on the go, the better, of course. Let's dig up here and see if we can find anything on the other side of the here. And when I go down here a little bit, oh no, there's a there's a slight massive drop going on here. I don't want to uh, hurt myself too bad. Ah, there's a skeleton over that way, so of course I don't want to go down that way. And there's a creeper down this way, so hmm, it looks like oh my goodness. This is iron! Yes! Oh no! Skeleton's seen me! Attack! 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 More iron! Lovely stuff! Oh. Right, well, this is kind of precarious coming out here with, with, with no torches. Um, the best weapon I have is an, an iron sword. But this is def uh, an iron sword, sorry, a stone sword which I affectionately didn't name. Lots of iron here though, this is good. This is going to give me a good kickstart here. You can see the uh, 
arrow where the skeleton decided that it was a good idea to try and shoot me whilst I was uh, had had my back turned to which I thought that was not a very good idea and I didn't like the skeleton for that one bit but plenty of iron going on here fellas and girls if there is any out there oh I seem to be uh, struggling against the water current here but this is a good way out so I'm going to take it is that a glowstone tree over there or is that just a, a different tree from the uh, farming mod quite possibly actually come to think of it what the hell is that I have been distracted but what by what can only be described as a funny looking bird what does it drop oh just chicken so okay that seems to be ooh, a very nice easy way of getting obsidian here that's always good now I'm gonna pop home and I'm gonna actually get some iron on the go so I'll see you back there so I'm back in my house I ran here I made a couple of easy squid kills on the way here and I've got my iron ore now I actually want some iron would you believe uh, but first I'm gonna need to oh, what am I gonna need to do I think I'm gonna need to create another chest in here because I think uh, that one's getting a little bit full and uh, it's going to about to get even more full if uh, uh, that is the right term to actually use there so let's stick that there and the bed quite nicely fits in between everything um, right let's get the uh, wood in there let's get some cobblestone we don't need that dirt we don't need that and we don't need the half a stack of cobblestone there let's also put the divining rod in there because it's absolutely useless at the minute we need the covalence dust to keep uh, to keep Bertha nice and and, uh, and repaired. So we'll keep that tin ore and copper in there. Two types of copper, remember. But as soon as that's macerated, it will uh, then smelt into one type of copper ore, and that's certainly something that we want to be looking at doing very uh, very soon. Earthen crystals, aqueous crystals, fiery crystals, all part of the thorncraft, which I will soon be getting into. Um, we also don't need our ink sacks, let's put them back, and the flint, we need a little bit more flint, but we've got the gravel there to uh, to help us. Appetite, we don't need that just yet. Go cobalt nuggets, um, I don't really know what to use refined iron, uh, reinforced iron for, so I'm probably not going to be messing around with that anytime soon. Iron we want to keep to one side here, so that I can do something with that. Um, we also need, hmm, do I want to use the coal? I don't think so when I can use just charcoal. Um, the raw chicken and bone and arrow and stuff like that we don't need as well as the wooden stairs. And the silver we don't need just at the moment either. I am pretty, pretty peckish, so let's get that eaten. And go to sleep because it's night time. And then I'm going to look at um, possibly knocking that off there putting it on there creating myself two furnaces to make this process a little bit easier and putting some iron ore in there and I believe eight pieces is what uh, coal can do but I want to nick the charcoal please I want to get as much done as I can so let's stick mm, I don't think I need more than eight pieces. Oh, lovely. More charcoal to add to my collection. In fact, just to make it a little bit better, let's get a bit in there. I only want three pieces of iron for the minute, because then I'm going to go back into my mine and get the redstone and gold, because I need the redstone to create the second tier divining rod, which is a lot more useful than the first tier, that's for sure. Now, we're going to give Bertha an upgrade. I'm going to keep her as Bertha. Oh, I've got an achievement there, which is always nice to get. I'm going to keep the name Bertha because this is uh, definitely something that is going to be staying with me. Is my pickaxe, and we're going to leave that just doing doing its usual business there, and uh, just taking a little look around, making sure there's no creepers chilling out by my house with the residents. So let's go back down into my mine and get the redstone mined up, and the gold. Gold. I always believe in your soul. So. Um, let's get that mined up as well. 
that is what we're going to use for our crucible not crucible I'm totally lying to you when I say that um, the quesitum we're going to need some gold for that as well so that's what we're going to be using this for which is why I want this stuff right now oh we've got some more uh, diamond fragments there lovely and did I actually put the whole of the uh, cobblestone back? No, I didn't. You see, I always like to keep some cobblestone on me to fill these gaps that I always like to leave behind um, while I'm mining. In fact, do I have enough? I think so, which is good. Now let's get this uh, redstone mined up here as well. This is always good. Redstone, thank you. And there's a lot of it as well, which is great, because I'm going to make a start with my industrial craft at some point sharpish so I can start getting double the amount of stuff so I'm gonna go back home and I will see you when I'm up there so after a hunger sapping uh, climb back up to my house I then realize that I've got another piece of the diamond fragment that you saw me actually mine on camera which means I can get another diamond which is great which is absolutely awesome because we're going to do that right now. We're going to get just one piece of diamond here because we're going to use that in conjunction with our not charcoal, with our actual normal coal. To get the top tier covalence dust. Now let's get our divining rod out because we're going to need a piece of redstone and a piece of iron. So let me get a piece of iron from in here to get the uh, second tier divining rod first before we uh, upgrade that even further chains what is this what's the uses for chains chain boots chain leggings this is this is uh pretty good actually fair enough chain armor that's what you can use it for so anyway iron and redstone makes the covalence dust uh, tier two so divining rod in the middle there for tier one Surrounded by tier 2 dust makes a tier 2 divining rod, which basically um, lets you see what is in the range of the uh, blocks. Hang on, let me just get it out and show you. If I was to right click here, it would show me what is in a 3x3 three three, uh, area around me by 3 deep. So in the ground there, it will tell me what is around the place, right? It would give me a, a value in equivalent exchange terms of what the R's and what everything is under here. Dirt is one, and I very much doubt there's anything else underneath here that's worth anything more than one. But if I change the actual uh, range that it can do by pressing the G key, I get the mid range, which is a three by three, same again, all the way around me by 16 deep. Now if I right click now it will use some fuel which in this case will be redstone. I don't want it to do that so I'm going to put the redstone back and I'm going to put the charcoal back as well because it's probably going to use some of that and I'm probably just going to put everything else back so that it doesn't actually use anything from my inventory because I do believe that it still works without fuel but if fuel is in your inventory it will take it out. So right clicking you'll see best found is 128 which is coal. Coal is 128. I believe it is anyway. I could be wrong there. But now I can use it. I can go down there and I can uh, slap this on the side of a wall and uh, try and find diamonds. Diamonds is 8192 EMC in uh, equivalent exchange. So yeah, I don't want to stop at this second tier. So let me get my uh, third tier covalence dust back out because I'm going to need that. Defining rod in the middle there with a third, third tier covalence dust gets us the uh, proper big massive divining rod. If I cycle through them now it's got a 64 range so basically I can see oh my goodness gracious me the best find is 49,152 which can only mean one thing between me and 64 blocks down there is a uranium R somewhere down there the uh, new update to equivalent exchange gave uranium an EMC level of six diamonds so one uranium is worth six diamonds 
49,152. And I'm going to be keeping that on my person for when I go out and about down in my mind to try and find some diamonds, even though I don't really need them because I've got them in there now, actually, come to think of it. So I'm probably going to move on to making my Quasitum. So let's have a look, see what I'm going to need for that. The Quasitum, a Quasitum, Quasitum, Qua, Quasitum, whatever you want to call it. Let's have a look at the recipe for that. We need three golden ingots, glass bottle, a feather, uh, an ink sack, and three pieces of smooth stone. Now, do we have any feathers? That is a negative. I'm going to have to go out and uh, kill a chicken, um, which is not hard. I'm sure I've seen some kicking around the place some place. Come on. If I remember rightly, is there some over there? Hmm. Maybe I don't remember rightly at all by the sounds of things. Just looking on the horizon here and I can't see any there either. Let me have a look around and uh oh, Thorncraft slime. That will hurt me if it kills me, if it hits me. Them little ones won't though, they can push me as much as they like, they ain't gonna do anything. But anything bigger than that and they will hurt. I've, I'm sure I see some chickens by spawn, if I remember rightly. And I'm probably not remembering rightly, because I never seem to uh, remember rightly at all. Mm. I spy, with my little eyeball, something not beginning with C. Oh, what's that over there? Sheep. More sheep. No chickens. Come on, chickens. Oh, that is uh, a pretty deep ravine there that I never saw. And oh, just uh, a bit of lag there. A bit of laggage when it's loading the terrain in front of me. So I'm wondering what that tree is over there. So I'm going to uh, wander over here whilst I'm looking for some chickens, some bacars. And uh, it is getting night time. And there's, uh, this seems to be a lovely little lava little thing going on there it's getting night time it's not exactly the best place to be is out especially in the open in the meadows at night time I want to see what this is does it drop saplings or am I just whacking this for no reason it drops something what is this a lemon does it give me seeds it does give me a lemon seed very nice there is sheep everywhere, but there is absolutely... Come on, you've got to give me a sapling, surely. I've got to get a lemon tree out of this. Get myself a nice little farm sorted. Of of lemons. A lemon farm. Can I eat lemon? No, I can't eat lemon. So what do I actually do with a lemon? Do I put it in a recipe? Can it? Does it have a recipe? Let me get rid of these leaves first and see if I can get a... A sapling from it, but no, it doesn't seem that I can. Well, that is a shame, that is. But anyway, let's chop this down and get all the wood off it. Oh no, it, it this is not part of Tricapita. Oh, fair enough. Right, there is zombies over there, so I don't want to get involved with them just now. I want to go and, and find myself my way back home. And I also want to see if I can get a chicken on the way. Do zombies drop feathers? Do, it, do I remember that right? Or am I remembering that totally wrong? Is it from a past update maybe? Let's get some of these flowers. You never know when they come in handy. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, I believe that is part of Thorncraft if I remember right. It looks like it might be an obelisk. Maybe. Oh, there's an Enderman there. I don't want to get involved with him just yet. Yes, that is an obelisk from uh, Thorncraft. That's nice to know. That there is... Oh, spider. Do these give me feathers? No. Spider eyes and, uh, and string. Come on, there's got to be some way of, of getting feathers. Hmm. Zombie chilling out by my house there. I've got a uh, got a showing this sort. Oh, it's a brainy zombie as well from Thorncraft. You can see by the red eyes. 
could drop a uh, a brain, and it did. Oh, getting uh, attacked from the side there, which is never good. The zombie has decided to try and get into my mine, just to chill out and and maybe uh, take me by surprise. But no, I wasn't having it. I said not today. Let's. Oh God, damn it! Right, let me uh, sort this monster out. Oh, there's a few. Yeah, that's it. You fire at each other. No, no, no. I'm uh, I'm gonna die if I if I don't do something soon. Oh no, what are you doing? Hey. So they're gonna uh, wander around my house like idiots for a while. I still can't sleep. What to do? What to do? I need to get some. I need to get a feather. That's for sure. Um, so, I know there's a creeper out there as well somewhere. I don't want to uh, aggravate him somewhat. Aha! It's okay if he blows up in the water because he will just defuse. I'm trying to uh, strategically get away from the skeleton. Come on. Give me a bit more health a bit quicker, please. Hey! Hey! Hey, there we are. Good stuff. Surely now I can sleep, please. Oh yes, there we are. Did I get any feathers for my troubles there? What am I doing? That does not look right at all. I didn't get any feathers for my troubles. I'm going to have a wander around and uh, see if I can find a feather. I'm going to definitely get this quiz eaten build. Uh, uh, built, sorry, build. It's, that's not the right word at all. I'm going to get the quiz eaten built before the end of this episode. Once I've got that built, I will probably call an end to this episode as it has it is going on an hour now. So um anyway, I'm gonna uh, what am I doing there? That's not what I want to do. That's the wrong button. It's F ten. Sugarcane. I'm gonna need this for my quiz item actually, so hey there's a big massive drop there. I don't wanna go end up down there, so uh, I've jumped over that and uh, I've got myself some sugar cane. Very nice. Oh I'm being attacked by a slime, no! Little one's trying to push me off into the big massive hole that's there, I don't want to do that. Um, still looking for these bloody annoying chickens. Um, you know, they're, they're everywhere when you don't want them, as soon as you need one. They are nowhere to be seen, and that is a massive, massive oil spawn there and something's going on with better dungeons there because it's it's um, jerking around like mad look at the size of that geyser that is insane people that is without a doubt the biggest oil spawn naturally that I've seen in a long long time what is this did I just spot no that was a sheep still looking for the elusive chickens what is this? Ooh, a tomato. Can I eat this tomato? Not now, because I'm not hungry anyway. Um, can I turn it into seeds? Yes, I can. More seeds to add to my collection. So, I want to go across here. And first and foremost, I want to actually stop lagging around the place. Something big is getting loaded as we speak because I've absolutely just frozen there. What I want to do is get this uh, sugar cane for a start. I also want to go over to this oil spawn and mark that on my waypoints. Not that I really need it marked because it's that big. I could see it from anywhere. I was making a right mess of the uh, surrounding area. Look, look at my god! This is insane! This is huge! Let's uh, let's, let's get a waypoint on here. Mahusif Oil. There we are. Mahusif Oil, right. Let's go and find these elusive chickens then. There's got to be some around it. Ooh, what's this? I'm sorry, I'm just getting totally sidetracked here. Is this what I think it is? Is this an apple tree? Does it drop saplings? 
Or does it just drop apples? Like that. Now, what I should really be thinking to myself is, does this make seeds as well? Yes, it does. Maybe they just drop seeds instead of saplings. Maybe I can't get saplings from these. And I only create seeds. I'm beginning to think that that's possibly what happens. I'm not sure though. So don't take my word for that. Um, right, that's as much as I can do there. Um, oh god, what's that? It's another tree. I'm getting totally sidetracked here. It's going to end up going dark soon. I'm going to end up out here, alone, in the woods. I'm going to die through uh, through through lack of everything. Um, of a lack of chicken. Come on, where are they all? Who's killed all the chickens? It's, who's being funny beggars? Who's playing funny beggars with me here? Because this is silly. I've been walking for miles. Oh, what's this now? What's this? Is this orange? It certainly is. Oh, more seeds. Yes. Right. <sighs> Don't know what to do. Thing is, I'll cut the recording and then I'll find a chicken and I have to start recording again. So anyway, I'm just going to cut it anyway. I'll see you guys in a minute when I've found a chicken. Oh, I'm not kidding you when I say I've walked nearly all day. Um, and I've lost my waypoint. I don't know where my waypoint's gone. But uh, it's disappeared. I don't know where I am anymore. I do have a feather though, which is uh, always a good thing. Oh no, it's that way. Uh, there's only one feather though. And now I have the perilous journey of getting back to my house at night time. So I shall see you on the other side, dead or alive. 300 and odd meters that way. It's not too bad. I'm back home. I've slept through the night, as you can see from the outside of the, of the uh, doors there. Um, on the way back, I collected a couple of melons. It was a bit of a, of a hazardous collect, so I couldn't actually record that on screen for you guys. Um, but I do have the one for piece of feather I need to make the quesitum. Now, I am actually going to have to... Oh, that is totally the wrong spelling there. I believe I'm going to have to smelt that gold. Yes, I am. So, where is my gold gone? There it is. And uh, I think all of it needs to go in there. And a bit of charcoal that I created earlier. In there, please. And I'm going to put my wood in there with a bit of charcoal. And uh, make some more charcoal. I think that's the way forwards there. Right, I've got plenty of charcoal going on. I've got a zombie brain there. I've got plenty of seeds that I'm going to probably uh, go into exploring next episode. Rotten flesh. I don't know if I can actually fit any of these more in now. Raw chickens, yes. I can get one of them. Now I've got a feather. I need some glass as well, by the way. So I'm going to have to uh, just collect myself three bits of sand. Nothing much for the minute. There we are. I'm also probably going to want to shove that straight into my furnace when my gold has finished. Or will that be the best course of action, maybe? I don't, I'm not sure. Put it in there now. Right. Okay. So I think what I actually want to do in here is take this crafting table off for just a second. There is a reason why I want to do this. In fact, no, I don't want to take it up just yet because there's something I want to create very, very quickly for you guys. And that is four wooden gears and a crafting table itself. I need a crafting table to be able to make this. You will soon see what I'm going to be making while my stuff is being cooked up. An automatic crafting table. There is a reason why I prefer this to the normal automatic uh, to the normal crafting table and that's because anything I want to keep in there for the moment so, for example, this, I can leave in there and come back at a later date and finish the uh, recipe off, which is definitely a good idea, in my opinion. Can I burn this? Yes, I can. Is it worth burning, really? Can I, can I get a one piece out of that, please? I can. I can get a one piece out of that, very nicely. 
that's all I'm after. And in fact, I want my gold back because I need the crafting table for just a second to make the, uh, to the sorry, the glass bottles. So I need the glass bottle there, that there, and that there. I need my ink sacks. One ink sack, please. Thank you. Just in the corner there. And now I need my smooth stone. So let's get the sand out of there. And let's get some uh, some cobblestone. I don't have any on my person now. That makes a change. There we are. With one bit of charcoal. And that should be enough to create the uh, the smooth stone that we need, more than enough to create the smooth stone that we need. I am going to need to uh, move out of this little house very very soon as we're getting quite full in my large chest there and it's something that I don't want to happen. Maybe I could create another one here but it's going to get right in the way of my furnaces. So um, I think it's best to uh, sort that out. So when my smooth stone is done, I can make the quercetum, and I can finish this episode off by showing you guys just exactly what I want to do with this. And I'm just going to plonk it outside for the moment, no big deal. And well, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to grab three stacks of cobblestone, yes that's right, three stacks of cobblestone. I'm going to put one in there, I'm going to put one in there. Nothing's going to happen until I put something in this target slot at the top here. Now everything um, for th that Thorncraft looks at has a value. And cobblestone is like the cheapest value ever, so you get a success rate of 3%. Now if I took both of them out, you'd only get a success of 1%. Basically, I'm trying to get the Thorncraft research on the go which you can get done really really quickly and really really easily earlier on. You can just keep this filled up with cobblestone as you're mining and doing your business and this will go ahead and make some uh, lost fragments. Now it's not going to actually do anything just yet until I supply it with some paper. Hence why I wanted to get myself some sugar cane. We've got some sugar cane here. I only want three bits of paper for the moment because I want to uh, no, I don't. I'm going to actually get uh, six bits of pepper in there. And I'm going to plant the rest of the sugar cane uh, just around here. There we are. I think that'll do for the moment. And I'm going to shove the rest of the pepper in here. Now you can see the progress bar is going up. And this is going to have a 75% chance of losing this item that's in here. And a 75% chance of losing each item from each slot, that is. And that's going to go ahead and try and research what's called a lost fragment for me. And if it is successful, it will use one bit of paper to create that lost fragment. The lost fragments can then be researched and turned into theories, possibly. And we'll get there at some point. And then the theories, you can turn them into actual discoveries. The discoveries you can then learn, and you can learn different kinds of, of items and, and such from Thorncraft. So... I've got a little sugarcane farm, I've got a quasitum, I've got a mine, I've got a little house going on. I think I've made a really, really good start to this mod, uh, this little mod pack, should I say. I have found the Mahusive Oil. Uh, I'm also going to dip into all this seedage going on here and see if I can find out how to make some trees, because I'd like to get a little uh, fruit orchard going. I have no idea why I just closed them doors, because it's middle of day. Anyway guys, this has been over an hour and, well, five, an hour and five, hour and ten minutes maybe. So I think that kind of uh, ends the episode quite nicely. And I'm going to go on to make episode two and uh, see if we can get some kind of, of farms going on. And I'm going to do a little bit more mining off camera. I tend to do a lot of my mining off camera. You won't see much of that going on because it's boring. So, anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you've liked it, please leave a little bit of a like in the uh, in the bottom right corner there. It does help me a lot, and uh, it helps me uh, figure out whether or not you guys actually like what I'm doing. So, if you could, that would be amazing. If you could leave a, a favourite, that would be even better. And uh, if, if you've got a friend who likes Minecraft and you think, ah, that might, you know what, I think my mate might like this, then, uh, you know... Don't hesitate to go and, and tell him about me, because it always does help me as well. So, until episode 2, guys, I've been the Tough Man, and as always, stay safe.